The night sky, once dominated by familiar constellations, now has a new addition, Beidou. This Chinese satellite navigation system, known as Beidou-3, has achieved global operational capability. It joins the ranks of established systems like the American GPS, Russian GLONASS, and European Galileo. China's ambitions in space are no secret, and Beidou is a shining example of its technological prowess. But this new constellation in the East has sparked a debate, particularly in India, about its implications for national security and international relations. For centuries, nations have looked to the stars for navigation. Early sailors used the constellations to chart their courses across the oceans. Today, we rely on satellite navigation systems to guide us in our daily lives. From finding our way home to tracking shipments across the globe, these systems have become indispensable. The advent of Beidou, however, introduces a new layer of complexity. It's not just about technological advancement, it's about the geopolitical implications of a new player entering the game. Beidou offers some advantages over its Western counterparts. It boasts a unique messaging capability, allowing users to send text messages through the system. This feature has attracted interest from countries in Africa and Southeast Asia, where terrestrial communication infrastructure may be limited. China has positioned Beidou as a global utility, offering its services to the world. But for India, a rising power with its own set of strategic interests, Beidou presents both opportunities and challenges. The debate over Beidou is not merely academic, it has tangible implications for India's security and sovereignty. The accuracy of Beidou's positioning data, its potential for interference with India's own navigation system, and the broader geopolitical context all contribute to the complexity of the issue. Understanding these nuances is crucial for India as it seeks to navigate the challenges and opportunities presented by this new constellation in the East. At the heart of the Beidou system are the signals it transmits from space. These signals carry the crucial data that allows receivers on Earth to determine their location. Compared to GPS, Beidou utilizes a slightly different frequency band for its civilian signals. While this difference may seem minor, it has implications for the compatibility of receivers designed for one system or the other. Not all GPS receivers can readily process Beidou signals and vice versa. The accuracy of Beidou, a crucial factor for any navigation system, has been a subject of much scrutiny. China claims that Beidou can achieve positioning accuracy within centimeters in certain regions. This level of precision, if true, would surpass the accuracy typically associated with civilian GPS signals. However, independent verification of these claims remains limited. The accuracy of Beidou in the Indian subcontinent, a region of particular interest to India, is still an area of ongoing investigation. Authentication, the process of verifying the authenticity of the signals, is another critical aspect of satellite navigation security. Spoofing where a malicious actor transmits false signals to deceive receivers is a growing concern. Beidou employs its own authentication mechanisms to protect against such threats. However, the details of these mechanisms are not publicly known, making it difficult to assess their robustness and effectiveness. The technical intricacies of Beidou, from its signal structure to its authentication methods, have significant implications for India. Understanding these technical nuances is essential for assessing the potential security risks and developing appropriate mitigation strategies. India must carefully evaluate the capabilities of Beidou and its potential impact on its own navigation systems. India has been developing its own regional navigation satellite system, known as IRNSS, or NAVASI. This system, designed to provide accurate positioning data within India and its surrounding region, operates independently of Beidou and other global systems. However, the proximity of the two systems raises concerns about potential interference. Signals from one system could potentially disrupt the operation of the other, leading to degraded accuracy or even complete signal loss. The issue of interoperability, the ability of different systems to work together seamlessly, is also a point of contention. While Beidou and GPS have made some strides in achieving interoperability, allowing receivers to utilize signals from both systems simultaneously, the same cannot be said for Beidou and IRNSS. The lack of interoperability between the two systems could limit India's ability to leverage the potential benefits of both systems. Cybersecurity threats are another major concern. Satellite navigation systems by their very nature are vulnerable to hacking and spoofing. 
A successful cyber attack could disrupt critical infrastructure, mislead military operations, or even compromise civilian transportation systems. The interconnectedness of modern technology amplifies these risks, as a disruption in one system can have cascading effects on others. For India, the interoperability issues and potential for cyber threats stemming from Beidou represent serious challenges. India must carefully assess these risks and develop robust mitigation strategies to ensure the integrity and security of its own navigation systems. This includes strengthening cybersecurity measures, promoting interoperability between IRNSS and other trusted systems, and investing in research and development to enhance the resilience of its navigation infrastructure. Section 4. Political Constellations Navigating the Geopolitical Landscape Beyond the technical intricacies, Beidou operates within a complex geopolitical landscape. China's rise as a global power has been accompanied by a more assertive foreign policy, particularly in its immediate neighborhood. The Belt and Road Initiative, China's ambitious infrastructure development project, has extended its influence across Asia and beyond. Beidou, seen by some as an extension of this geopolitical strategy, has raised concerns about China's intentions. For India, China's growing influence in the region is a matter of strategic concern. The two countries share a long and contested border, and their relationship has been marked by both cooperation and rivalry. The presence of Beidou, a Chinese-controlled system, in the skies above India adds a new dimension to this complex dynamic. India's strategic planners must carefully consider the implications of relying on a system controlled by a potential adversary. The potential for dual-use applications of Beidou is another point of concern. While satellite navigation systems are primarily designed for civilian purposes, their underlying technology can be adapted for military applications. The accuracy and reliability of Beidou could potentially enhance the capabilities of China's military, raising concerns about a shift in the regional balance of power. India's response to Beidou must be carefully calibrated, taking into account both the technical and geopolitical realities. Engaging in dialogue with China to address concerns about interoperability and potential interference is crucial. At the same time, India must continue to invest in its own navigation capabilities, ensuring the resilience and independence of its critical infrastructure. Section 5. Mitigating the threats. Charting a course for India. Faced with the multifaceted challenge posed by Beidou, India must pursue a multi-pronged strategy. Strengthening its own regional navigation system, IRNS, is paramount. This involves enhancing the system's accuracy, expanding its coverage, and bolstering its cybersecurity defenses. Investing in research and development to enhance the resilience of IRNSS against interference and spoofing is crucial. Promoting interoperability between IRNSS and other trusted navigation systems, such as GPS and Galileo, is another important step. This would allow India to leverage the strengths of multiple systems, reducing its reliance on any single system. Collaborating with international partners on technical standards and security protocols can enhance the overall resilience of global navigation infrastructure. Diplomacy plays a vital role in mitigating potential risks. Engaging in dialogue with China to address concerns about interoperability, interference, and potential dual-use applications of Beidou is essential. Establishing clear communication channels and protocols can help prevent misunderstandings and build confidence between the two countries. India's approach to Beidou must be guided by a clear understanding of its own national interests. Balancing the potential benefits of cooperation with the need to safeguard national security requires a nuanced and pragmatic approach. By pursuing a multi-pronged strategy that encompasses technological development, international collaboration, and diplomatic engagement, India can effectively mitigate the potential threats posed by Beidou while maximizing its own strategic autonomy. Section 6. Conclusion. Finding the right path. The rise of Beidou presents India with a complex set of challenges and opportunities. Navigating this new terrain requires a clear-eyed assessment of the technical realities, the geopolitical context, and India's own strategic interests. Ignoring the potential risks would be imprudent, but so would rejecting the potential benefits of technological advancement and international cooperation. India's response to Beidou must be guided by a spirit of pragmatism and a commitment to its own national security. 
strengthening its own navigation capabilities, promoting interoperability with trusted systems, and engaging in dialogue with China are all essential components of a comprehensive strategy. The story of Beidou is not just about satellites and signals. It's about the evolving geopolitical landscape and the choices nations make in navigating this complex terrain. India, with its own aspirations for technological advancement and global leadership, must chart its own course, ensuring its security and prosperity in a world where the stars themselves have become instruments of power and influence. The challenge for India is to find the right path, a path that balances the pursuit of technological progress with the imperative of national security. By embracing a multi-pronged strategy that combines technical expertise, diplomatic finesse, and strategic foresight, India can navigate the complexities of the Beidou era and emerge as a stronger and more resilient nation.